Imagine one selected day struck out of it, and think how different its course would have been. Pause, you who read this, and think for a moment of the long chain of iron or gold or thorns or flowers that would never have bound you, but for the formation of the first link on one memorable day. Oh, do shut up, you long-winded nit! T'was an important day, we understand, acknowledge, nay, rejoice, move on. Just because you never saw need for exposition or direction. Two households, both alike in dignity, two star-crossed lovers. Make an awful mess of it. I mean, really, all those lovers teach us is not to trust Italian pharmacists. And the entire handkerchief tribe in Othello, the mere probabilities involved. The man who used spontaneous combustion to rub out a man named Crook proceeds to speak to me of plausibility? You couldn't spell plausibility, at least not the same way twice. Between us, who has coined more words and terms? There's justice that the language of my time is known today by no other name than Shakespearean. The closest your name has gotten to a phrase strikes the ear as poorly thought of childish innuendo. Now you listen to me, Billy. None today doubt the origin of my works. Scrooge may have encountered a blot of mustard, a crumb of cheese, but your chains are heavier than that. You could be bacon. Tis nature to deny me what I am. To know a man is common. To know a god is rare. A god among men, rarer still. A god he takes himself for? Well, answer me this. What kind of god-man dies from an overindulgence in pickled herring? And while we're on the subject, while you shadows were offending at the globe, Oxford over there tells me that Anne was pickling some herring of her own. What are you getting at? Well, let me put it thusly, O bard of Britain. Back at Stratford, Avon wasn't the only thing the local gentlemen were upon. If truly your desire is to bring the fairer sex into this, then here. A tale of two cities could be told by Ellen Lawless Ternan in her years, for she no doubt could occupy them both simultaneously. Come closer and say something like that to me. Give me the chance and I'll make you look like Kafka up there. I'm so dreary. Now there implausibility is found. A garbage-eating insect killed by rotting fruit... Clearly the apple is symbolic of man's inevitable death brought about by the knowledge of his own evil. Tell me, Franz, if you dislike our company, so why not fly away? I would gladly have spread my wings with the rest of you, but I can never find a place I'd like to go. Doubtless, that is nothing but the queerest line of reasoning I've ever heard. You never had a grasp for the absurd. Absurd? A man playing a woman, playing a man, playing they a woman. Do go on, the same don't stage they? at the same time. I wish Dickens would cross his legs or something. I can see right up the road. Stage, the you haven't been here long. long. Wait until William Blake joins him. He doesn't make it. Um, I think I'm just going to go play chess with Lovecraft. Oh heavens, they didn't let him in.